So I'd say overall, we want to do everything we can to educate in this space, educate about addiction as a disease, not have patients, healthcare providers, treatment professionals, counselors. There are a litany of different people who operate in this space, both who have the disease of addiction, as well as others who are helping patients and families get over the hump of addiction and get people back out away from this disease. Welcome to Business Ninjas, brought to you by Write For Me, where you'll hear from business leaders who are out there growing their business and slaying it every day. Learn from the masters. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Business Ninjas. I'm here today with Scott Chandler, National Director of Recovery Solutions and Madison Beeler, Brand Manager at US World Meds. Lady and gentlemen, how are we doing this morning? Doing well, thanks for having us. Doing great, pleasure to be here, Andrew. Oh, thanks for spending some time with us. Please, Scott, we'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and about US World Meds. Sure, Andrew. So I have about 20 plus years in the pharmaceutical and medical industry, starting all the way back in 1999 as a field sales representative. The bulk of my career up until the last five years was really spent in the dermatology specialty, uh, everything from a field sales rep to a national sales trainer up to the last organization I was with, I was VP of sales. I started here five years ago, this month actually, at U.S. World Meds as our national training manager. About two years ago, due to the needs of the business, specifically to our addiction and recovery side, I was promoted into the national sales director role and in the last year have taken more of a comprehensive role as what I'm not even sure exactly what my title means, but it is the <laughs> national director of recovery solutions. And like I said, the best way to describe that is just more of a comprehensive role over our business unit, which includes our sales team, our marketing team of one, Madison, and our public health team, which is specific to the Zim High side. So that's me in a nutshell, as far as US World Meds goes. US World Meds is a specialty pharmaceutical and biotech company. Um, we develop, license, and bring to market healthcare products designed to improve the lives of patients with challenging conditions and diseases, of which we're here to talk to you today about the addiction and recovery space, which is very near and dear to Madison in my day-to-day. -day. And Madison, what's, what's your role at the company? Yeah, so I've been at US World Meds for a little over two years now. Um, I started off as an account manager with a product outside of our recovery division. I'm in for almost a year now, I have been now a brand manager for the recovery division. So Luce Mira and Zimhai are the two products in that di division. And, and, and Scott, please tell us a little bit about the two products and the market you're serving with them. Sure. So the verticals we serve are very specific to the opioid use disorder space. Uh, we have two FDA approved products, which we actively educate and market within our recovery business unit. The first, uh, as Madison mentioned both, the first being Lucimira, the molecule is Lefexidine. The second being Zimhi, the molecule is Naloxone. So to give a little bit more insight into both of those products, um, you know, Lucimira is FDA approved. It's the current, it's currently the only FDA approved product uh, indicated for the mitigation of opioid withdrawal symptoms to facilitate abrupt opioid discontinuation in adults. Um, to be fair, some side effects of Lucimira include hypotension, bradycardia, and syncope. And I should make it noted that Lucimira should be used in caution, with caution, with any medication that decreases pulse or blood pressure to avoid the risk of bradycardia and hypotension. Very excited about this product. It's been out for five years and it's made a real difference in the opioid use disorder space for uh, our clinicians and healthcare providers who are treating in that space and certainly for the clients who are dealing with the wicked symptoms of withdrawal coming off 
an opioid, whether it be an illicit opioid or trying to get off pain management legally prescribed uh, by their physician. Uh, Zimhi is the only FDA approved five milligram intermuscular injection in a pre-filled syringe in the naloxone world. So Zimhi is currently, uh, it's an opioid antagonist indicated for the emergency treatment or of known or suspected opioid overdose as manifested by respiratory and or central nervous system depression in adult and pediatric patients. Zimhi is intended for immediate administration as an emergency therapy in settings where opioids may be present. Zimhi is not a substitute for emergency medical care. And again, in the interest of fair balance, uh, as the duration of action, action of naloxone hydrochloride is stronger than many opioids, the patient after being administered Zimhi should be under continued surveillance and administered repeated doses of naloxone using a new Zimhi device as necessary uh, while awaiting emergency medical assistance. It's not a substitute for calling 911. Understood. These are very important and very timely uh, drugs that you've brought to market. I mean, you know, we, we've talked before, but this is to say epidemic is an understatement in terms of the amount of prescription drugs being tossed around and and that pathway towards addiction, the inability to, to maintain a prescription. And then now you're you're in the world of street drugs and, you know, things like fentanyl and th uh, and problems like that, your, your drugs become in a very important part of, of, of society moving forward here in 2023. So I thank you for what you're doing. What's the origin story of U.S. World Meds? How, how long has U.S. World Meds been in business? So it's actually a very interesting story in the pharmaceutical and biopharma world. Um, I got to believe U.S. World Meds may be one of the last remaining privately owned pharma slash biotech company with no outside and or institutional capital funding the company. Um, Brett Jones Sr. is our founder and CEO, and he still 20 years after founding the company sits atop the organization as the CEO. We are privately held, owned and operated, and that is the vision for this company moving forward. We're headquartered out of Louisville, Kentucky. That is where Madison is uh, born and raised and from. Uh, despite other stints, she's always seemed to come and find her way home. I live in Cleveland, Ohio, but love coming down here to our corporate headquarters. Louisville is, is a great, great city. And if you haven't ever been here, I would suggest you come visit Louisville because it is awesome. Um, again, I, without sounding repetitive, you know, the goal of the organization is to be a commercial organization. Uh, a commercial arm that meets the needs of unmet disease states and is specific to patients with challenging medical conditions. We do have two other uh, arms of the company. All fall under the U.S. World Meds corporate umbrella. One arm of the company is called Hema Biologics, and there is currently an FDA-approved product under the Hema Biologics arm. I won't go into all of the details about that. Uh, currently, um, but it is a product uh, that treats um, hemophilia A and B right. in um, in adults who are experiencing bleeding disorders. So okay. that's it in a nutshell. And then the other product is currently in development uh, under FDA review. And uh, for the fact that it is not an approved product yet, I will leave that be. But that is in another very rare and special area that has to do with pediatric oncology. So the overall goal and the overall space or spaces and diseases the company is dedicated to are very different, interesting, and unique disease spaces. And, and I'd say we're both very proud of the products that we represent and the company we work for. I've never heard of a of a pharmaceutical or a biotech company that is privately held. Certainly not for twenty years. That's uh, that's a level of fortitude most people just can't can't muster in your space to be able to compete with you know the giants, the the household name biopharm pharmaceutical companies. How have you managed? What what makes you stand out from your competition that you've managed to sustain a company like that as a privately held entity? 
I'll say this as simply as I can because I'm not smart enough to overcomplicate it. It's the people. <laughs> we have an amazing group of uh, about 100 people who work directly here at corporate or who are out in the field as our field sales team who all have a common goal in mind. And it does center around making this a sustainable, privately owned company that focuses on diseases and spaces that are very unique and that have a gap in treatment. And again, we have the most amazing people I've worked with in 20 plus years in the pharma industry. And we have a lot of people who have been here since just after the inception of the organization 20 years ago. We have people who've been here 10 years. We've had people who've been here 15 years. I'm coming up on five. Madison's got a few years under her belt now. The people make all the difference in the world. We have great people who are all trying to do the same thing, and that is make a difference. I can only applaud your efforts. It's, it's an important space you live in. Uh, tell me, well, typically I would ask, what are the common uh, problems you're solving for your customers? I mean, here it's fairly self-evident. But tell me what it looks like on the other end of the equation. What what are you able to accomplish for people with the two me medications that you, you mentioned in the opiate addiction space? The broader picture is about trying everything in our power to help reduce the stigma around addiction. Addiction does not discriminate. It is a disease. And we have two products that are very unique in this space. One from a molecular standpoint, meaning the actual drug is very unique. The other from a delivery and strength profile that it is unique in its delivery and strength. So I'd say overall, we wanna do everything we can to educate in this space, educate about addiction as a disease, not have patients, healthcare providers, treatment professionals, counselors, there are a litany of different people who operate in this space, both who have the disease of addiction, as well as others who are helping patients and families get over the hump of addiction and get people back out away from this disease. We want to be a part of the solution. The other thing, to put it bluntly, is helping save lives. And I cannot say either one of our medications is FDA indicated to save a life, but at the end of the day, through our educational efforts, getting in front of the right people, talking to the right audience from a healthcare provider, an addictionologist, and addiction focused standpoint specific to opioid use disorder, we want to help save lives. Absolutely. And, th and that leads into my question for you, Madison. What role has content played in the growth of U.S. World Meds? That is a good question. So um, since, since I transitioned to the marketing department, um, we kind of switched audiences. So when the product was launched in 2017, 2018, yep. um, you know, our focus was really those pain pain management physicians and we are very pain focused. So when I stepped in, you know, we have we saw that Lucimira was making a really big impact in recovery centers and in the addiction opioid use disorder space. Um so ever since I've been in the role, it's really about updating all of our content to to that audience. Um but you know with with pharmaceuticals it's it's hard. It's very regulated so we don't have a big social media presence um and we can we still have a lot to do we a loose mirror we definitely could there could be some more awareness in this space but i think we've come a long way madison's taken our brands to the next level uh since she was introduced as the brand manager um it, we were just talking about this over lunch, literally 20 minutes ago, on what a difference she has made to our team coming in with a new, fresh vision, listening to what the customers are telling us as far as what would engage them better. And she's delivered all across the board. So, I mean, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm so happy to be working with Madison every day because she's made a true difference and has had an impact 
that we've heard from our audience from the healthcare provider side, all the way to families who will write us personal letters about, I'm so thankful my son or daughter was introduced to your medication because now they're on the road to recovery. That has to be incredibly gratifying at the end of the day. No doubt. Scott, Scott, I've learned a lot from Scott. I, you know, coming into this, I don't believe her. She's got it all down. I don't know know who's listening out there, but trust me, Madison, as you can see here from the engagement, believe me, I'm sure you guys out there can realize that. You have a very uptight work environment at U.S. World Meds, I can tell. Oh, yes. We don't get along at all. Yeah, we, we don't have any fun along the way. T- tell me tell me about growing the business through the COVID years. I, I would imagine, unfortunately, that as people got locked down, and I'm sorry, but depression and anxiety touched just about everyone to some degree in the last two years, I would think that the opiate opioid crisis has only expanded in the last couple of years and drugs like yours have been invaluable. Tell me about how you've been able to grow the business through the COVID years. Another great question. And just thinking out loud about this here, um, you know, mental health disorders are a lot of times the root cause that opens up the door for the addicted brain to start getting into illicit substances um, and, it, and it's unfortunate. It is the root cause and the starting point of what can eventually lead to addiction, not, not across the board, but in many cases. So to your point, being locked in from a mental health standpoint um, has not done the addiction world any favors or did not do the addiction world any favors. So you are absolutely right. Statistics went through the roof on opioid use disorder, as well as opioid overdose deaths. Um, And it's leveled out as of 2022, but it's not going backwards and we need it to go backwards. So as Madison mentioned earlier, it really was an evolutionary switch from a strategic standpoint for our brands. And at the time, Zimhai hadn't even been launched. So we had only Lusamira at that time. And switching the focus as to everything we were doing from a field standpoint to a corporate standpoint, the organizations we support, the meetings we were going to, we made wholesale changes and said, we need to go after opioid use disorder. Patients experiencing opioid use disorder, we needed to go and focus on the healthcare providers, the counselors, all of the treatment professionals who are working in the opioid use disorder space. And that simply comes from one of two places, on the surface, outpatient addiction treatment, inpatient addiction treatment, specifically in detox. There are a wealth of professionals and providers as well who treat addiction from the mental health space, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, um, mental health, counselors. And we have done everything in our power to support those folks through educational efforts by being at their national and local meetings and supporting in any way we can. We're, we're big on education because as Madison indicated earlier, there is still an awareness gap nationwide on Lusamir and the Lefexidine molecule. We've made a lot of great strides with an organization like ASAM in having them recognize lefexidine as the preferred choice for an opioid withdrawal management treatment in the outpatient setting. So we've made a lot of progress, but as Madison also indicated, we have a lot of work left to do. Well, once again, I truly appreciate what you do. It is an important place in the the market. Uh, I wish it weren't. I wish there were no need for this. I mean, Almost every company has had to make some sort of pivot in the last couple of years. I I didn't imagine that a biopharmaceutical company would have to pivot to a new audience, but I I applaud your flexibility uh, and your recognition of the need. Um, All right. Look in your crystal ball one year from today. What would you like to be celebrating personally and professionally? Ladies first. Ah, there you go. Oh, boy. (laughs) Um, Let's see. I think with with Zimhai, I'm, you know, Zimhai is tough. We do have a lot of obstacles, but I do think it's a great product. And um, so a lot of it comes down to awareness, but it's kind of hard to measure awareness. But 
Um, I'd like to go to more of these conferences. A lot of times we go to conferences and people look at Zimhi or look at Lusmira and then like, never heard of this product. Um, so, you know, it would be nice to just see the awareness grow um, within the space specifically. Um, personally, I don't know. I've only been a brand manager for like less than a year now, um, but so I think I can expand upon my skill set um, a lot. Um, but you know, I'm learning more every day, and it's it's been great so far. So, I'll just point out that in terms of a work life balance, your personal goals were related to your professional space. I'm just saying. <laughs> personally, in a year, Which means I'm doing a know. terrible job as a leader. I've got to get her out <laughs> exercising more and doing something she enjoys outside of the office more, Andrew. I, well, I'm a bit, I love to travel. So it's my 2024 goal to go back to Europe. I haven't been in about six years or so. Um, so that would be, I would love to do that. But there, I wouldn't there you necessarily go. call it a goal. <laughs> the needle on the work-life balance just swung in the other direction. Nicely done. Thanks for bringing that up. I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> and Scott? Uh, yeah, I think simply put from a professional standpoint, it's at the core of everything we do. And I'd love to see additional tangible evidence that our products are saving more lives. Again, not the FDA indication for our products, but we know in this space we deal with every life matters. And Absolutely. nobody, no human being wakes up one day and says, you know what, today's the day I want to throw everything away. I want to be homeless. I want to have an addiction problem. I want to lose my family. The list goes on and on. There isn't a human being on the planet who wishes that upon their own life. Everybody has a story. So the more education and awareness that we as an organization, we as individuals can get out there from a professional standpoint that demonstrates we are making a difference in saving lives. Professionally, that's all I need to know is happening to know we're doing the right thing. On a personal level, I just want to get the last two years or two semesters of our second son's college tuition paid and get him to get a real job so then my <laughs> wife and I can start enjoying some more things in life that we were meant to enjoy uh I don't know if that's really what you were looking for but I'm just being honest <laughs> no hey I, I like real stuff that's real stuff and uh, it's important well listen uh please tell us uh what your URL is where people can find U.S. World Meds and what social media channels you're using these days I know that your hands are a little tied in terms of of the FDA in terms of what social media outlets you can use and how you can use them, but please let us know anyway. Yeah, so our US World Meds uh, is just www.usworldmeds.com. Um, Luce Smira is www.lucemira, L U C, I can't, E M Y R A. I'm going to have to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> I write it, but it sounds weird spelling it out. Uh, and then our, Zimhi is www.zimhi.com. Uh, we do have a Zimhi Facebook page and we have a US World Meds LinkedIn page as well. Excellent. Scott Chandler, Madison Beeler, I repeat, thank you for what you do. You, you play a very important role on this planet here in 2023. Again, I, I wish it was unnecessary, but it is. And I applaud I applaud what you do every day. I wish you and U.S. World Meds all the best in the future. And thanks for spending some time with us on Business Ninjas. Thank you, yeah. Andrew. We Thank appreciate you so it. much for having us.